People waited for the Minecraft movie for a decade. If you can't even spend a couple minutes to listen to an explanation for why, go to the settings and change the playback speed to 2. On February 27th, 2014, Notch tweeted out that someone is trying to leak the fact that we're working with the Warner Brothers on a potential Minecraft movie. I want it to be the leak. Just recently, we hit the 10-year anniversary of Notch's announcement of the Minecraft movie, but the Minecraft movie isn't out yet. On the same day of this leak, it was announced that Roy Lee, who worked on the Lego movie, and Jill Massick, who worked on Mean Girls, were going to produce this movie. Two years later, The Collider reported that Roy Lee was trying to make the Minecraft movie similar to the success of the Lego movie, and disclosed that they were still in the scripting phases and were working on visual designs to show the studio what the Minecraft world would look like for the movie. In two years later, Later, it was sadly announced that the other producer, Jill Messick, had committed Hightail. The Minecraft movie had already been on its second director, which the first director was Sean Levy who left in 2014 due to creative differences with the Warner Brothers. The Warner Brothers asked me to develop how might this ever be a story for a movie, because it's a non-narrative game, Levy told the Wall Street Journal. We came up with an approach that felt good to us, and I discussed it with Mojang, and they were like, that doesn't sound like what we want. If we're going to see a movie get made, we don't know what we want, but that doesn't feel right. Levy claims he had four other movies in various stages of pre-production at the time and instead of moving forward with a Minecraft film, he opted to pursue those other projects. He also said that he felt like he let the Children of America down in regards to quitting the Minecraft movie. Just keep in mind that he left this project as its director less than a year in. Now, sometimes the word creative differences is used as a filler word for something nefarious going on, but he had several other projects he was working on. There was a lot of pressure on Levy to make Minecraft one of the best movies it could be, but because of how open-ended Minecraft is, there was a lot of uncertainty of what direction the Minecraft movie could be taking. Since throughout the years, live-action adaptations haven't exactly been doing too well, it's clear to any director that could work on this movie that their entire reputation is on the line for a game like Minecraft. Rob McElhenney, who was from Always Sunny from Philadelphia, was replaced by Aaron and Adam Nee, and it was announced in January 2019 that Peter Solit would be directing the film and writing it, and five months later it was announced that Alison Schroeder would be co-writing the script with him. And in this Variety article that goes in and announces from Warner Brothers that March 4th, 2022 is the release date, it also links to a now-deleted Mojang blog post saying that the Minecraft movie is just around the corner. It's now gone, though, from the site. Now, so many people had given up on the Minecraft movie, there's almost no press coverage of what happened between 2019 and 2022. But as you know, the bite of 2020 caused all of the world's economy to come to a halt and caused delays in productions of certain films. It was then announced in April of 2022 that Sola and Schroeder would no longer be working on the project, and Jared Hess would now be the director, with Jason Momoa being in talks to star in the film. Now, I want to disclose as of recording this that the Minecraft movie has finished filming. A week ago, Jason Momoa posted on Instagram with him, Jack Black, and the production crew that they had finally finished filming the Minecraft movie. Now, if you go and you look at the fandom for the Minecraft movie, which you shouldn't be going to fandom anyways, it gives this plot for the Minecraft movie, but the movie has gone through so many script changes, I don't think this is the real one. Now, someone who actually lived near the filming of the Minecraft movie had leaked out that there were these Minecraft trees as props, and that's pretty much all we have of the live action movie movie. Jack Black revealed in a video he released on Instagram a couple days ago that he was going to be playing Steve in the Minecraft movie. Now, the confirmed release date is April 4th, 2025, and this would have actually been earlier if it wasn't for the writer strikes. Now, I wouldn't have entirely made this video if I didn't have some juicy details regarding the Minecraft movie. The most detail we have about the production regarding the Minecraft movie involves Rob McElhaney, who had worked on the movie for the longest. He gives some details on the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast of what happened regarding the Minecraft movie. And I took this short, and then a take that I had for the Minecraft movie. And I went, I was like, there's no way they're going to give me this job. And I pitched it to the people from Minecraft. And then I pitched it to Warner Brothers and they hired me. A really important detail regarding the whole situation of this movie taking so long to make is he said he not only pitched it to Warner Brothers, but he pitched it to Mojang. Keep in mind that less than half a year later after Notch announced the Minecraft movie that he sold the game to Microsoft, I think it's pretty clear that Notch had gone in and negotiated with the Warner Brothers during his time at Mojang that they would have creative control over the movie. Rob McElhaney said that he had a friend named Greg Silverman who had actually gotten him in onto the project, and this friend of his was a Warner Brothers executive. He says in this interview that he actually enjoyed playing Minecraft himself, and you can go and take from his words what he said about it. I loved playing the game, and I love playing it with my kids. I thought, what an amazing tool to give to kids, and not just kids, but, but any person who feels powerless. You just feel like you're, you're, you don't have this sense of agency over your own life, right. and the game gave you that. 
Greg Silverman was like, this $150 million movie, right? And yet I really felt supported all the way through. And we got where we had a, a script that was in pretty good shape. We had a, a production team. We had an art department. We had a visual effects house. Steve we had on this. Yeah. Steve Carell signed yeah. on to yep. star in it. Rob McColney had revealed that Steve Carell had been signed up to be a lead role in the movie and they had the stages rented out. But shortly after the movie had gotten started, the person who had introduced him to the Minecraft movie left the Warner Brothers for an unknown reason, which caused him to end up being removed from the project. Keep in mind that he spent two to three years working on this movie. He had made years of progress and the Warner Brothers had axed his project and fired him. When Rob McCallney had pitched this project, he was shocked that it was even approved and he was given $150 million, but it was canceled a month before they started filming. The best way to put it is that the Minecraft movie was griefed.